some counting activities you can try at home. So first of all, you can practice counting objects. It can be anything at all. You could count your toys or you could collect things like, so I've got some, some pasta here that you could count or collected some lolly sticks, some um, food lids. And you could cut out little counters for children to count. You can really count anything. You could collect some food packaging. Um, I've got some little plastic ones here that you can put things in and count and sort them. Or like an egg box or a cake tray. Um, you can put different things in. So we could count, we could put one in each and count them. Three. Four, five, or you could put one in the first one, then two in the second one, and then three in the third one, and count like that. So the children can play with the different containers, moving objects around and counting them, and putting different things in, and just exploring number really. You can include things like cupcake cases that the children can place in the different compartments and you can have different numbers written inside for the children to put that number of things in and they could add two together or they could explore adding one more or taking one away so there's lots of ways children can just play and explore counting lots of different different things the little activity i've made here is uh, there's a bottle i've put some little lids in there and the children can look and they can guess how many there might be inside and then try and count them. It's quite tricky because they're not in a line so they have to really try hard to count how many are in there especially if they keep moving around. You can also try the activity with some different containers. I've got an old tissue box here or a bowl or a little, little basket. You could put some objects inside and estimate how many you think there are and then count to check. As well as counting physical objects, just like in our virtual group time, you can count sounds or actions. So I've got a few activities here you could try. You could try dropping some things into a jar. I've got these little food lids to drop in and we can see how many. Count how many times a ball bounces or how many times you could throw and catch the ball. You could count things like bubbles. have any building blocks at home you could build a tower and count how many and last of all I have a bowling game made out of some tubes all of the tubes have got different numbers written on them and dots to count on the back as well and you could use a ball or a rolled up sock or something to try and knock them down Oh, so I've not you can find which one you've knocked down and identify so I can knock down number three I can count the dots on the back and if you knock down more than one you can add them together you can find lots more activities in the home learning on the nursery page of the website each week.